Vivian, a neuroscientist, and you talk about artificial intelligence. How is this applicable to a conference like this and the markets? Well, let's talk about two specific technologies. IBM Watson can read through every newspaper release, integrate all of that data together, and make it immediately accessible. Uh, Google's recent AlphaGo champion uh, beat the World Go um, uh, uh, world champion. Uh, it can take all of that information and make optimal investment uh, strategy and, and apply it in the market over any time scale that you might be interested in. So right there, two existing real-world technologies uh, put together into one would essentially um, put all of human-level investors out of business uh, and create, I think, an interesting dynamic in the investment world where artificial intelligence is now far outpacing what individual humans can do. And as I've often said, turn us all into historians trying to figure out what already happened. Will we have anything to do when it comes to money? I think that's a big implication is uh, do we allow AIs to simply uh, distribute our money around for us and reap the benefits? Uh, or do we try and actually leverage a role into this future? And I think what's clear going forward is they're very quickly, by the preference of the investors themselves, will not be a role for people uh, in that process. They really enjoy being able to go into a website, answer a couple of questions, uh, and if they get superior returns, there won't be much else to do. That is Vivian Ming, thank you.